The process of trying to be involved with healing or trying to aid someone as they try to heal themselves is a very rewarding process. Whether that be them making the most of the time they have with family and loved ones and living life with gusto, whether that be being better in terms of medical parameters, it is all really what makes you know being involved in a role like this rewarding. Over my career, I've chosen to focus on patients with MPN. Part of what makes it a very rewarding a group of illnesses to, to focus on and a group of patients to try to help is that it's really a very mixed group. The first real challenge in treating MPN is, is education. You know, it's not a common group of diseases. They're not on TV very much, clearly. There hasn't been a very famous sports figure with these diseases to, to, to really increase it in the public awareness. The second part is that sometimes there can be a lot of misperceptions. There can be information that is read online that is accurate, but not necessarily accurate for them as an individual. Yeah, Dr. Massa has treated patients with MPN, and it's part of his DNA. Uh, it's part of his nature. He started blood cancer conferences where it's focused on the patient. A lot of well-known doctors from around the world come and present the latest information and are open to any questions. Now those meetings uh, start back in 2001 and really began with people who focus on the diseases as scientists, as clinicians, to come together to both talk and collaborate, but also so that they could help educate patients regarding what is the true state of the art in the diseases as things evolve. What makes Dr. Massa a hero to me is uh, it can be very personal as one, but two, I, I really believe he's a hero to so many others. Not only has he benefited my journey, but he's done so for so many other patients. I would uh, very much put my role as being a, a key part of, of a team that has worked to try to advance our understanding of these diseases. I've been involved with over 40 different clinical trials for MPNs up to this point in time, and all of those are very complicated but collaborative efforts. I guess what we all derive you know, energy from, from, from different things. Uh, and for me, I think it's, it's about relationships, whether it be personal relationships or professional relationships. You know, and that truly is what what fuels you know the energy to to you know work you know after hours to write a paper on a weekend to work with our team here to create a video just for informational purposes and not only is he a doctor just to the patients and treating the patients but he does other things he actually did his first Ironman in 2009 to raise money for blood cancer research I uh, very much focus on trying to get into shape uh, and uh, try to become more active and, and really get the most gusto out of life by really the lessons I had learned from my patients. You know, that life is really a very precious gift. So along the way with that, I got involved with an Ironman. Really wanted to do it more than just be about myself, but really use it as an opportunity, as a catalyst for some philanthropy for MPN research. So it really helped make it a, a much more meaningful experience in you know, knowing that I was uh, doing those difficult uh, and long hours of training in the dark uh, uh, in Minnesota, you know, with, with kind of a, a purpose in mind. Dr. Massa is the man when it comes to hematology and blood cancer. And what makes him the man is his dedication is beyond what I've ever seen. He obviously treats everyone very specific to their specific type of cancer and where they are in their cancer journey. When you go see him, he makes you feel like you're the only patient he has. I'm very humbled by, by all the, the, the kind words that Ron has said. You know, I, I would like to say that uh, I, I certainly am, am one of the men, shall we say. You, you know, I, I, I'm one of many you know, who, uh, who are dedicated, uh, who care tremendously for patients and really are trying to advance the science. I really view myself as a member of a team, and clearly the patients are an essential part of that team. I'm pleased to be part of that team, but, but clearly don't have the hubris to, to, to claim to be the sole man. 
Dr. Mesa, I have to personally thank you for being my hematologist. I know my journey is much better because of me being under your care. I can't say that I feel like a hero. I'd say that as a physician, as a healer, you know, I, I kind of carry the weight of, of all that we have gone through together. You know, both the highs and the lows. But I'm uh, incredibly energized by the faith Ron has shown in me, by the tremendous support uh, this community has has given me even during uh, some personal or, or uh, health challenges that, that I have faced. Uh, and I'd say that uh, I take all of this as kind of renewed energy to go back and continue to uh, battle on for, for patients with MPNs. <laughs>